Thank you so much. Let's get another round of applause for the great Mariachi Divas. Buenos dias. Good morning. Uh, we're here to celebrate a very important day today. It gives me great honor to bring up to the mic our first speaker, the man behind this, uh, proclaiming Coco Day in Los Angeles, Council Member Gil Cedillo. Buenos dias, todos. Este quiero decir que es la primera película latina de Disney, de Pixar. Y la historia de Coco comienza con Miguel soñado con convertirse en un músico como su ídolo Ernesto de la Cruz. Manuel se encuentra en la tierra de los muertos, siguiendo la historia detrás de su familia. La película es basada en el día de los muertos. Let me say that Coco is Disney's 19th feature film. It's the story of Coco begins with Miguel dreaming of being like his idol. And he's baffled by the fact that his family doesn't want him to pursue uh, his talents. It sounds like every story we ever had in each and every one of our families, where we wanted to go in one direction and our family said, oh no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, the film was scripted by Adrian Molina and Matthew Aldridge from a story by Lee Oakridge. Jason Katz, Alpitch, Molina, Michael uh, Giacchino. Post the score. We are here today, though, now I'll speak for myself. I am here today to honor Coco. But as I just said, I'm honoring Coco because it was the most important and significant response culturally to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Now, am I the only one who thought about that? <laughs> I was crying. My granddaughters were crying. My whole family was crying. Uh, we saw opening night in Phoenix, Arizona with our family. We have a movie night every, uh, every year. And it's so wonderful. I have to thank all of you involved with it because it was, because we're not gangbangers. What, what type of lie is that? We're not drug dealers. We're families who care and love our families on both sides of the border. We're dreamers. We're people who work and aspire to have a better life, the names of our families. And we do that in this life and in the future. That's why we walk around with these masks. I see my beautiful wife right there. I miss her every day like it was just yesterday. And that's who we are. And yet, that was not coming through until Coco. And then Coco opened up, Disney opened up, and made sure that they incorporated the best talent of our community. And I'm so proud of each and every one. I was so excited when I could hear uh, various voices uh, on stage that I knew. Dan Guerrero and Lalo and Herbert and others that I knew. Yes, let's applaud for the, all the actors that played in this. And so yes, it is the story of Day of the Dead, and it is the story that all of us have had in our families, where when we were younger, we wanted to do something, and our parents were like, no, 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 that's not just gonna happen, no, 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 no. And yet, we wondered why that wasn't gonna be. And we pursued those dreams anyway, and then we were able to realize them. That's why we're all here this morning, because we wanna be the better angels of this city. We are the better angels of this city. And so I just want to say I love you very much to everybody involved in Coco. Uh, I'm sorry for politicizing it, but the fact of the matter is, is that in this critical time, in this critical moment, where we are assailed and assaulted each and every single day by the most embarrassing man and crew of people to occupy the White House, at this very moment, nothing could be more important than the positive, constructive, authentic representation and presentation of the core family values of our community. I thank you very much. God bless you. 
Gracias. Good job. Thank you, council member. Clearly, my boss did not follow his talking points. He was supposed to say that this movie was so great that it topped charts in uh, Mexico, was the number one movie in China, won a Golden Globe Award, and is now nominated for an Emmy. Uh, the great work that they did. Uh, no other people got so acquainted with this film and our culture as the people standing behind me today. I want to bring up Lee Unkrich, the co-director for Coco. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have Darla here with me, uh, the producer, because I'm in the middle of a terrible cold and I don't know how long my voice is going to last. But um, I just want to say this is an incredible honor to be here. Uh, representing the film today, representing uh, all the people at Pixar who worked so hard on the film for six years. Um, I remember at the very beginning of this process, the day that we first pitched the idea for Coco to uh, the studio, uh, they gave us the thumbs up to pursue it uh, very enthusiastically. And uh, I was very excited, but at the same time, um, I, I immediately felt a crushing responsibility uh, to make sure that the film that we made was as authentic and respectful to the Latino community as possible. And there wasn't a day that went by in the entire making of the film that we didn't measure what we were doing and the story that we were telling against what was right. Um, and so to see the film do as well as it did in Mexico and to see how embraced the film has been by the Latino community um, all over the country, but especially here in Los Angeles, uh, has been uh, beyond our wildest dreams. And uh, to have the city today um, proclaiming this Coco Day, uh, I don't think that's anything that we ever would have imagined would have ever happened. So I want to thank everybody, um, and I want to thank you on behalf of my co-director, Adrian Molina, who couldn't be here today. He had a prior commitment. Uh, but he's here in spirit, and he's very, very proud that this is happening today. So thank you very much, and I'm going to turn this over to Darla. Thank you. Um, I'm the producer of Coco, Darla Anderson, and um, I just want to say that Coco is a beautiful film, and the reason why it's a beautiful film is because the people and the country and the cultural celebration of Dia de Muertos is so beautiful, and we accurately represented that. And so this is our love letter to this beautiful country and celebrating this, this amazing family day, family reunion, and we just couldn't be more honored and more uh, to have been a part of it. And we want to thank the country of Mexico and all of the communities for taking us in and making us family um, so generously and so kindly. And again, the movie wouldn't be as, as beautiful as it was without that intense, beautiful collaboration. So thank you. And I'm also excited that um, every year on Coco Day, everybody gets the day off, right? <laughs> No school, no nothing. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, anyway, thank you so much, and thank you for being here and honoring this film. We are we couldn't be filled with more gratitude, and uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So this brings us to the closing of our uh, press conference. We're going to have uh, Anthony and uh, Maria Chidivas take us out with un poco loco. <laughs> So we welcome everyone here to join us inside Council Chambers at 10 a.m. We will be doing a, a special presentation. And for now, if the cameras want to do one-on-ones with the council member, the co-director, and the producer, you can uh, join us up here. Okay.